Guys, what's good? Chuck with TGV here and coming at you with a different type of video. You see here, I'm about to give these clubs a bubble bath. My boy TK wanted me to have a drip check. What's in the bag check? That's going to be in the description. I'm going to have a video to that, but let's get into this video. Before we get into this, shout out to my cousin right here um, letting me get this bag. I was out of state at a golf tournament and he looked out for your boy. My bag broke and he had a second bag in his closet and he just threw it to me. So first off, cuz, appreciate you. Shout out to you. Let's get into it. Today, we are at Water's Edge in Fremont, Michigan. This course is a hidden gem, little ways from Muskegon, and the name fits the course beautifully. It's water in a lot of places, beautiful area. Starting out with the practice facility, if you see there, that's an indoor hitting range for the winter time. Beautiful driving range, starting out here with a couple chip shots. Gotta get that 50 to 60 yard range accurate, clutch. And then from there, move on to the practice putting range. There was a couple different places to practice your putting and chipping, but all of the putting in the world couldn't help me today. The putting was not goaded to say the least. Moving on to the carts. The carts were not only equipped with GPS with an overview flight of each individual hole, but also had an accurate yardage rating of each individual pin placement on the holes. With the cost of this round, I was highly impressed. This course gave you a mix of different views, some wide open, you can swing for the fences, and then as you see here, some very tight ones where you had to moderate your swings to not go in the woods. It did rain the night before, so just keep in mind if it happens. A couple holes had drainage issues, but my biggest pet peeve about this course would be the rough. You could hit your ball two feet off of the fairway and lose it. I lost a whole sleeve of balls, not going in the woods, but just hitting it off of the fairway and not being able to find it, as you can see here. Another thing is the fairways was extremely long. This ball right here is actually in the fairway. Look how long that grass is. That was another thing. So I definitely advise that if you're out here playing, definitely have a second or third or fourth pair of eyes to keep an eye on your ball for you so you don't go through a whole sleeve of balls like I did. So I've just finished up around here at Water's Edge in Fremont, Michigan. Um, another hidden gym, uh, beautiful views course. Um, it's a beautiful place, uh, $50 on the weekends and I believe it's about 40, 45 during the weekday. Uh, I could be wrong, I'll make the correction right there. Uh, but like I said, beautiful views, manicure, uh, the fairway, fairways is a little bit longer than usual, but this place is a solid seven. They have a beautiful indoor track, man. Um, I looked at the restaurant, beautiful restaurant, um, with some exquisite stuff. So if you have a customer, if you want to bring the wife out, I give it a, a solid seven. It's a beautiful hidden, hidden gym, uh, like the falls at, uh, Barber Creek. Um, the degree of difficulty out of 10, I would say possibly a four and a half. There's a couple tight little um, holes. There's a lot of water to go over if you're not scared of water. Um, but other than that, beautiful course. I definitely recommend it and I'll be back. A real goat always keeps his word. So came right back out here with the wife. The Lakes 23 restaurant is a must try. Their barbecue is so good. Got the smoked salmon quesadillas and the brisket. Tried her brisket and sent my salmon back. After, look at, after digging in this, this was the most tender, juicy brisket. Never expected it. You have to come here and try it. Only God can judge me. Yes, I sent mine back. Ended up getting the colossal chocolate cake for dessert. Customer service was amazing. This restaurant is definitely goaded, you guys. <laughs> Get here if you can. Guys, that restaurant, if, even if you don't golf, if you have a wife that doesn't golf, take her to this restaurant if you're around Fremont or within an hour, I would even say. It's worth the drive. Take my word for it. I hope that you enjoyed this review. Much more content coming. Guys, I want you all to stay safe, stay fly, stay smooth, stay tuned. We out here. Take it easy.